what is going on with Kawasaki and their parts. Stay tuned to find out more. Hey guys, JD here with the Kawasaki Ultra 310 LXS supercharged jet ski. Now, if you guys watch my channel, you know I, I, uh, I love Kawasaki products because one, they've never let me down. From the hull, to the engine, to all the components, Kawasaki's known for their either made in Japan or made in USA high quality components. So here I have a couple supercharger belts. I keep, as you guys know, if you watch my channel, I keep spare parts on hand, right? I always have them. So take a look at this, 59011-0032. This is your Kevlar reinforced OEM drive belt made in Japan, okay? I got some texts and um, some guys were like, hey, what's going on here with these belts? And um, if you look at, I'm gonna show you now on the screen, check this out, Kawasaki has changed the part number of the drive belt and look at that, it's now made in China. So, come on Kawasaki. So if you look at a belt and it has this 59011-0032 part number, then it's a made in Japan belt. If this ends in 0066, it's a new Chinese belt. Now, how will these Chinese belts hold up? I could not tell you, I don't know. I haven't seen one in use yet so hopefully they'll hold up as well as the japanese ones but um you know obviously personally i prefer a made in japan product over a chinese made product you know some of these hoses like this hose right here are made in china um you know it, it is what it is basically what's happening here with with jet skis with cars with you know everything from your toaster oven to your blender is there seems to be a race to the bottom right in the jet ski world BRP and SeaDoo are leading that race to the bottom. And by that, I mean finding the lowest possible bidder to make products at the lowest possible cost to maximize corporate profits. If you look at a SeaDoo, the jet pumps from Vietnam, the hoses are from China, the engines made in Mexico, they're, they're all over the place. Historically, Kawasaki skis have been assembled in the United States with Japanese made and US made components, the highest quality that you can get on the market hands down. Kawasaki builds the best, highest quality ski, hands down. And I, I prove that with my videos. I'm not just all talk. I'm, in fact, I'm more video than I am talk. And, and I, I walk the walk. And so anyway, the bottom line is that there's a race to the bottom. Companies like Kawasaki are forced to compete in the marketplace. And they're doing that by trying to reduce costs by making parts like this in China. And it's very sad to see, but... Um, you know, this is what's happening now in this industry and in other industries. And it's sad. I'm just here to show you guys that uh, they have changed this part number from a made in Japan part to a Chinese made part. If you're like me, I ran out and bought a bunch of belts made in Japan. Um, I'm sure skis starting probably this model year will have the Chinese made belts. And um, if you go to order one from the internet and you put in this part number, it's going to be superseded. So if you're trying to buy these, actually call the dealer or call the, the vendor and say, hey, send me a picture of those belts. I want to make sure that they're 0032 belts and not 0066 belts. Again, that's my personal preference. It could be rooted just in paranoia that I don't want a Chinese product. But changing the belt on this is no easy task. I mean, I have a video on changing the belt. And, um, you know, I don't know if those Chinese belts will have the same... Uh, durability that the Japanese ones had. So that's uh, to be determined. Anyway, hope this video was helpful. Sorry for the rant. Thanks for watching only on JD's Waterworld. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more exclusive jet ski content only on JD's Waterworld.